All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this um, Hot Toy set. It is uh, Boba Fett. Uh, this is not a brand new figure. Um, it came out of a few months ago. I just now uh, decided to get it because of the SciShow um, deals. So I uh, went up and uh, purchased this one. It's the deluxe set and it comes with uh, two Boba Fett, fi uh, Boba Fett figures. One is the uh, un uh, well without armor and one is with armor version. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with uh, this Boba. Um, this one is the armored version. So I'll show you, you all the accessories that this one comes with. Uh, so let's get a closer look at them. Okay, so we have a jetpack, we have the rockets, and then we have the uh, flame effects for the rockets. And then here is uh, a knee pad with uh, with the uh, firing rockets, I guess, whatever that's called. And then here's his pistol, and then a hologram of himself or another uh, Mandalorian. And then um, here's some uh, hologram effect with uh, letterings on it. And then we have a flame effects right here. And then two more. These are for the jetpack. And then here are the rockets. Two rocket effects. And then a bunch of hands. Let's see. So. We got a trigger hand, a open hand, a thumbs up hand, and a spinning, a spinning uh, pistol hand, then a thumb hand, and then a pair of fists, and that's about it for this uh, version of Boba. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Looks very good. Um, the helmet. Uh, I think I had it up a little bit higher, but right now it's sitting a little bit low. Okay, after a little bit of readjustments, and uh, the helmet is better now. Uh, looks like he has neck. And then there's the rest of his outfit. This one is really nice because uh, it is so weathered up. Uh, when he first uh, got this armor back, it was so weathered up. Uh, I really like this version. And here is a side view of that armor, and uh, you can see he has a little chunky, not not too bad. Uh, it's a little bulky, as he is uh, uh, as he was uh, in the film. I mean, in the in the series. And here's the back side. Let's go skirt right there. Flip it back over, and then look at the back side. How weathered up that is. And back of the helmet. I'll go. I'll go close to look at the helmet in a little bit. Then here's the other side. So here I have the jetpack. It's very pretty. Look at the weathering on this. Really good. And I'll put the rockets in. And then on the back, it's a little uh, foam padding. A little foam padding to just so uh, when you're sticking it onto the back of uh, Boba. It doesn't uh, scratch it, I guess. And it is held on with magnets, so that is very nice. I like that. Always like them using magnets for these things. And uh, yeah, let's now let's take a closer look at Boba's helmet. It's really pretty. Just look at that weathering. Hotoy did a fantastic job with it, and you can see uh, there's texturing on it too. It's not just painted on; there's texturing. So they uh, most likely added a little bit layering on the on the helmet too. So it looks like it's been uh, chipped away. So I wonder. Yeah, it looks like it is uh, somewhat chipped away. Cause like this, this is. Uh, it's, is this completely smooth? Yeah, well actually it is completely smooth. But here it looks like it's raised a little bit. On here. So there are some really minor texturing on this. So if you look at it closely, you can see um, it is raised. Uh, well, uh, the silver part uh, it has chipped away the green is chipped away so that is very nice I like that 
so it's not just um, a just it's not just a paint effect but it is actually being chipped away so that is impressive I like that and let's go over on the side there's the dent on this helmet really pretty and the rest of the armor just as nice a couple of dents here from being shot at I'm sure that helmet is just so pretty and the rest of the armor Shoes are extremely clean though. Now with this figure, uh, you won't have to worry about uh, posability or anything like that because uh, his outfit is all cloth, uh, except for the except for these armor pieces. So yeah, but uh, you could pose him however you want without any issues whatsoever because of the fabric outfit so don't worry about stretching it or or leaving it in a in a pose in a dynamic pose like this because uh, the arms uh, there won't be any issues whatsoever and same with the legs um, they didn't bulk out the, the thighs though uh, they did bulk out the uh, the belly right here the crotch so it is a little let me take this off so you can raise his legs but uh, I guess it's almost 90 degrees so that's good little ratcheting joints around the knee okay kind of soft in a way but I'm fine with it he will maintain his pose no problem so if you want him to be flying anything like that you wouldn't have any issues whatsoever so yeah it's a fantastic figure oh and then uh, if you remove the helmet I was so surprised they did the interior of this too look at that you can see the interior of the helmet uh, they actually did that which is very impressive I wasn't expecting them to do that but uh, it is nice to have something like this so we, uh, so when he's holding it uh, you can still show the bottom I guess if you really want to and then here on top you can see there's a foam padding right here just to keep it uh, keep the helmet from uh, shifting around so that is nice and as for these tubes they just sit uh, in inside the vest so yeah it won't get in the way so you have no issues whatsoever uh, even if you stretch uh, stretch the arm nothing's gonna happen you bend it nothing's gonna happen it's just gonna shift around in there so you have plenty of room to work with these tubings and oh, now it's sticking out a little bit can't push it back in oh well doesn't matter and, and let me show you the base uh, f at first I thought it was broken because uh, you can see kind of edges here let me take it off because when I first saw it I was like oh this this uh, the bottom cracked but then uh, it actually it's meant for this base only because uh, you can see how this is at an angle so it fits in perfectly so yeah that is very cool I'm surprised they did that so when you set, set this on there uh, set the uh, the bendy pole on here it will it will flush it will stay flush properly it will, yeah and then the bendy pole then of course the clamp up on top right here and here I got him doing a somewhat of a takeoff a flight pose so yeah right there like cool and then on the back right here you can see effect pieces for the jetpack really pretty and here is the boba without the armor and uh, the accessories that he comes with first of course we have the base then we have the figure and then he comes with the rifle, the staff, a pistol, and a broken 
Stormtrooper helmet. It's not really broken in a way because it looks like they just glue pieces over it or the way they design it, it doesn't look that good. Um, I wish it was just more cracks to it and then it's it's bits that are falling off instead of them just like this front piece. I don't know why that thing is on here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even line up with the rest of the helmet either. Uh, this one I could kind of see on the side there was cracked in. Um, this portion is uh, uh, being uh, smashed in, so this is uh, this look like it's uh, outside of it. Here, let me show you the helmet again. And uh, yeah, it's just this piece. It doesn't make sense to be here. It doesn't look like it's part of this helmet. It looks like they just glue a piece over it. This is nice. The little crack on here. And then, like I said, this is dent in, but look, it's weird how they just added this extra piece on top, in a way. Doesn't look right. Yeah. It's not the best. Uh, it's not the best. Yeah, definitely not the best. But uh, it's okay, I guess, for what it is. And you could actually put it on a Stormtrooper. Uh, if you have a Stormtrooper, then you could put this on here. And kind of uh, have him battle the uh, the uh, Boba without armor version. So yeah, let's take a look at him. <laughs> head sculpt is man, this thing is impressive. That head sculpt is perfect. Uh, the color is good too. It's a little darker, uh, like how he looked uh, in the show. Uh, I'm gonna rotate him. You can see. Yeah, from all angles, he looks dead on, accurate. And you can see all the scars on his uh, head there, really pretty. And on the back. Yeah, I think they did a fan, fantastic, fantastic job with this. The likeness of this guy. If only uh, Essex Chef could have done the. Uh, this level of uh, paint job on, on their helmet, uh, on their uh, boba, um, that would have been perfect. Because uh, uh, the Essex Chef version is, uh, the skin tone is a lot lighter than this. And then as far as the rest of his armor, I mean the rest of his outfit, let's see here. Let me rotate down a little bit. So, can this be taken off? I don't know. There's a clamp up here. Maybe it can come off. I don't know. I don't want to risk it, but uh, I'll just open it up and show you guys. So let me raise his arms a little bit. Why is that stuck? Okay. So here's what's inside. You have a padded suit, and then uh, we have uh, some sort of an outfit here. The belt right there, holster right there, and then the skirt, same as the other one, uh, same as the other boba. And uh, yeah, the pants and the shoes are all pretty much the same. So it's just he has an outer coat right here. And we put the hood up. And there is a wire running through the front of the hood. So you can shape the opening of the hood <clears throat> a little bit. For him to look nicer. Because always want to readjust the hood here somewhat oh uh, yeah it's not I don't know is this not strong enough or something the wire oh no it's not staying down that well but uh, you get the idea if it was if I could pull it all the way down like that that would have been perfect that but I can't keeps try to bounce back back up but you can see it looks fantastic and then of course uh, articulation wise uh, it's the same as the other boba well I mean yeah articulation I mean uh, he does have a fat suit on so it is a little harder for the torso to do any type of movement uh, but the legs you can still have it go up almost 90 degrees knees that are ratcheting joints and then I believe ankles are on the ball joint yes so yeah, as far as articulation, it's good because he has a cloth outfit underneath. So it's not gonna impede with the articulation at all. So 
yeah pose him and uh, you won't have any issues yeah. I am planning on leaving that on because um, for the most part these things will uh, these are um, these outfit that uh, he has on are color dye so uh, you gotta be careful if you take it if you take the neck piece off and uh, if you decide to put it away for a while uh, the, the the color is gonna seep into the neck so you're gonna have uh, blotches of uh, black color on his neck so that's why they put it on here and that's why I plan on just keeping it there I mean, for the most part he's fine the way he is uh, it's not that noticeable at least not to me so I'm okay with that and and uh, you could probably pop this head off and give it to the other boba as well but the one thing I don't like are the eyes they are an angle you're looking towards this side so you're gonna have a limited um, possibility uh, for him because uh, he's not gonna be looking at this direction he's gonna look weird when he's looking at this direction the only direction he's gonna look at is on this side and uh, yeah right now I think a lot of the hot toys are doing the rolling eyeballs uh, even for regular release so that's nice I'm, I just don't know why they didn't, they didn't do it for this guy uh, if they did I would have been super happy about it uh, but uh, yeah that is that so I went ahead and popped the head and the neck piece off of uh, the armor boba so here's the neck join goes with it and see there's a hole right here and now just a matter of putting this head on there let's see if I could do it Wait. so that's what I was talking about the wrapping around the neck again I will leave that on oh he's gonna look so good yeah. look at that with this on wow the perfect boba look at that he looks fan freaking tastic with that on Look at that. And a little bit. Um, look at that. Wow. Really pretty. And then now I could have him hold the helmet. And uh, let me show you what it looks like with it. Alright, so I guess the thumb hand, uh, the, the giving you the thumbs up hand, uh, is meant for holding on to the helmet. Yeah. Look at that. It looks perfect. So good. And um, yeah, this set is totally worth getting, uh, especially if you get a discount on it. Um, I forgot how much the discount was. Was it 15 or 20 percent off or something like that? I think it was somewhere around there. Uh, it was a while back. I got it um, during their uh, what was that their birthday? I think it was during the birthday uh, uh, events or something. That's when they had a sale, and then oh, was that before? I'm not even sure. But in any case, there, uh, this is what it looks like, and uh, it's a fantastic piece. If you own this, congratulations! Uh, this is a really, really good-looking boba, and uh, now I have uh, quite a few uh, iteration of uh, boba fat. Now uh, I have the, I, I don't have them out on display, so I can't show you guys all of them. But uh, yeah. Mm. But uh, in any case, this is it. Really nice. Uh, two figures to build one uh, if you want to. Uh, but I'm probably gonna stick with the uh, the, the head. It's gonna go back to the, um, the 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 Bobo without armor, and I'm just gonna give the give this one the helmet back on. So at the end of the day, uh, is this set worth getting? Um, only if you have a if you gonna if you get a discount on this. Uh, preferably 20-25% that'll be great uh, but if it's just regular price and uh, if you want a definitive uh, boba this is not the set I would get um, I would eh, but then uh, this is the only one that's available now isn't it because uh, I my my definitive boba would be the um, Sardak Pit uh, version. That's my definitive one because uh, that one that, that it comes with the Sardak Pit. Uh, it looks fantastic, and that one yeah, it's always gonna be the boba for me. Uh, this one is nice. Um, it's good representation of the show, uh, the TV show. 
uh, Book of Boba, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't be the de definitive uh, version uh, for anyone to purchase. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the throne one is nice too. I mean, that would be the definitive version for um, for the Book of Boba because uh, it has the throne and everything. That's that's an impressive uh, display piece, but. Um, it wasn't something that I wanted to get, and uh, I only got this because I had a discount. And uh, I love the way this armor looks. Uh, the the weathering on it is just fantastic. So yeah, there you go. There's uh, the Book of Boba um, set uh, from Hot Toys. Thanks for watching. And for anyone who's wondering, uh, here's what it looks like uh, the the little hologram Boba. Uh, yeah, uh, it's got the uh, texturing on it, and you can see all the layers on it. It's just a holographic version of uh, a Mandalorian. No, it could be Boba Fett. I'm not sure. Well, I forgot why this one was on here. Uh, was it in the show at all? I don't remember, but uh, yeah, there it is.